This video describes the one-dimensional visualizer, new in StatGraphic Centurion version 17. The one-dimensional visualizer statlet creates a dynamic visualization of multiple time series using bubble charts. Up to three variables may be displayed on the chart. A primary variable is displayed by the position along the y-axis. A secondary variable may be used to define bubble colors. A second secondary variable may also be used to define bubble sizes. Time is manipulated using controls on the Statlet toolbar. I'm going to illustrate the visualizer using data for the 22 countries in the OECD. The data were recorded yearly between 1980 and 2010. I've loaded the data into the Stack Graphics version 17 data sheet. I'll now go to the top menu and select Statlet's 1D Dynamic Visualizer. The three required fields on the Data Input dialog box are Y, which is the data that I wish to plot along the y-axis. In this case, I'm going to select female life expectancy. There's a, another required field called slicer, which is usually time, and in this case I'll choose the column year. The identifier is in this case country, and will be used to identify each of the bubbles on the chart. When I press OK, this statlet will open up. I need to improve things a little bit initially. The first thing I'll do is go to this analysis toolbar and turn the labels vertical. And I'll pull it up a little bit so the labels fit on the chart. The data initially displayed are for the year 1980. You can see that life expectancy in most of the countries was between 70 and 80 years. There's a notable exception, and that's Turkey, where female life expectancy was only about 60 years. The controls on the toolbar will change the year at which the data are displayed. I can use the slider here to dynamically change the year. I can use the arrow buttons to let time evolve. You can see a general tendency of life expectancy in all of the countries to increase as time increases. You'll also note that for the year 2010, a lot of the bubbles have disappeared. That's because there's a lot of missing data in the file for the year 2010. I can control what happens with missing data if I push the right mouse button and select Analysis Options. Right now, missing values are not being plotted. I can, however, ask the program to plot when it sees a missing value, the same value as in the previous year. That's usually a pretty good choice. I can also ask it to interpolate to fill in missing values, that will use the two nearest points before and after the missing value. Actually, points in the same season if the data were seasonal. I could also ask to completely omit incomplete samples, but I think I'll just use same as previous replacement. Now if we start time evolving again, you will note when it gets to the year 2010 that the points will all be on the graph, many of them using the values from 2009. Another interesting feature of the visualizer is the ability to highlight large changes. If I push the right mouse button and go to Analysis Options, I can tell it I'd like to highlight any increases or decreases of more than a certain amount. For example, I can ask it to highlight any changes from year to year that are 
at least 1%. We'll start it again and now you'll see on occasion some bubbles become dark. Those would correspond to years in which there was a more than 1% increase in female life expectancy. If I go back to the data input dialog box, I can select another variable to define the size of the bubbles. I think I'll select infant mortality and press OK. That will cause countries with high infant mortality to have large bubbles, countries with lower infant mortality to have smaller bubbles. Let's bring it back to 1980. Let's also press the right mouse button and go to analysis options. I can define the minimum and maximum size of my bubbles. I often think it's a good idea to bring the minimum size up to at least three. You can see quite a bit of variability now in infant mortality. Uh, Turkey has the largest bubble. It had the highest rate of infant mortality. You can see a couple other countries like Mexico and perhaps Portugal where the infant mortality was also higher than average. Let's run it through time and I think you'll see in most cases the bubbles will be getting smaller as infant mortality goes down. Another useful addition to the visualizer is breadcrumbs. Let's go back to the Analysis Options dialog box. Let's put the highlighting back on all the bubbles, but this time go to the bottom left and ask to leave breadcrumbs for all the bubbles. Breadcrumbs will leave an image of what the bubble looked like at every previous period of time. Now if we go back to 1980 and let time evolve, it's easy to see which countries have changed most dramatically. They certainly include Turkey and Korea. It's now time to use another variable to define the color of each bubble. I'm going to go back to the data input dialog box and use the column female minus male to define the color. Female minus male shows the difference in the life expectancy between females and males as the number of years. Red would indicate a large difference, blue would indicate a small difference. Let's go back to 1981. In 1981 you'll see the bubbles for France and Korea are quite red. There was quite a large difference between life expectancy for men and women in Korea and France back in 1981. Most of the other countries are green indicating a moderate difference. On the other hand Turkey is quite blue. The difference between males and females was considerably less in 1981 in Turkey than it was anywhere else. If we let time evolve, you'll watch most of the red disappear and more blue begin appearing as the differences between male and female life expectancies become less. One thing you may notice is that the bubbles tend to jump around quite a bit. We can reduce some of the noise in the data if we go to the analysis options and choose some type of smoothing. I tend to prefer the robust lowest smooth, the same smooth we'd use in smoothing a scatter plot. You'll see the effect of the smooth as I let time evolve now in that the bubbles will move in a more regular pattern. The final thing I'm going to do with this graph is go to the Analysis Options dialog box and label some of the more interesting points. I'm going to label France, I'm going to label Korea, 
and I'm going to label Turkey. If I go up toward the upper left and indicate that I'd like to label the selected identifiers, it'll put the name of the country on top of those bubbles. Now to let time evolve continuously, I'll push this button here and you can watch over and over again as long as you like. Changes in female life expectancy, infant mortality, and the differences between male and female life expectancy.